Be free from evil and be sincere. Evil means wrong knowledge and wrong views. Free means prevention. You must know how to prevent and prevent wrong knowledge and wrong views. Layman Li Muyuan spoke very brilliantly about the method of prevention. I heard some of what he said to you guys that day, and I nodded. His first thing was to tell people not to listen to the phone. He said that as soon as they held the phone in their hand, they would talk for an hour or half an hour, and it was all about right and wrong. He told the cadres of the Pure Land Society not to listen to the phone or make phone calls if there is nothing to do, which can avoid many incorrect thoughts and concepts. I often say that if you don't read newspapers, watch TV, or listen to the radio, your mind will be purer. Today we in this society, lay people have a job, have a career, in your work and career, the things you need to know, you should contact. The things you don't need to know are definitely not. You should know, only then can you keep your mind pure. This is called, deft comprehension. Truly achieve the goal of, doing the best in duties, keeping the evil in leisure and sincerity. We must be sincere to others, without any hypocrisy. If others treat us with hypocrisy, we must treat others with sincerity. Why? He engages in the six realms of reincarnation and the three evil realms. I want to go to the Western Paradise to see Amitabha Buddha. Amitabha Buddha welcomes people who are sincere, and Amitabha Buddha will not accept people who say things that are not true. The old venerable in the commentary of the sutras said very clearly, Words and deeds do not match, no matter how much you recite the Buddha's name, you will not be reborn. If we ourselves have made this determination and made this vow, in this life we must be reborn, we must practice and follow the teachings. So this time, our special Dharma predestined relationship, I will definitely explain this sutra in detail and thoroughly during our Dharma assembly. There is no time limit for us, and it doesn't matter if it is three years or five years. Come and listen, once you listen to it, you will benefit from it once. And once you understand it, you can follow it, and you will benefit forever in your life. Not to mention every Dharma lecture you come to listen to, then still what's more wonderful. But if we do this, will our deft comprehension reach perfection? No, it's only 70% or 80%. How can it be consummated? One pointedly focusing on reciting Amitabha Buddha will be complete. In the mind every thought is Amitabha Buddha, then decide to be born in the pure land. So I also advised some fellow practitioners, I also advised people to keep answering the phone. Li Muyuan said not answer the phone, and I said you could answer the phone, but by how should you listen to the phone? We just recite one sentence Amitabha Buddha, when they talk, we keep talking, we keep chanting Amitabha Buddha, Amitabha Buddha, etc. They say an hour, we recite Amitabha Buddha for an hour, don't speak with any more words, their nonsense comes incessantly. So let's just go ahead with Amitabha Buddha. My method is also good, and I don't need to spend my own phone bills, don't you think so? They called, and we poured Amitabha into their Alaya consciousness one by one. We don't even listen to their words, even if you don't want to hear them, they can cover their ears, only our mouths say Amitabha Buddha, Amitabha Buddha only. This method is wonderful, this method is good. Recite the Buddha's name to seek rebirth in the pure land, and recite Amitabha Buddha, this is called, deft comprehension, to achieve perfection. We must learn, bodhisattva deft comprehension, and implement in our own lives. You are a bodhisattva worthy protector, you are a bodhisattva deft comprehension. You should know it. It is said in Buddhism that there are many names of Buddhas. 
You see, there are many temples now, and they worship 10,000 Buddhas during the Chinese New Year. There is a sutra in the Tripitaka, called, the Sutra of 10,000 Buddhas. The sutras of Buddha's name are all the names of Buddhas. There are more than 12,000 Buddhas in it. Who are those Buddhas? I tell you, they are all ourselves, they are all our own virtues. Why are there so many titles of virtue nature? There is no end to the virtues of nature, let alone 10,000 titles, even hundreds of millions of titles. It is immeasurable and boundless. The names of all Buddhas are our own virtues, and the names of all Bodhisattvas are our own virtues. Our own virtue emerges from our virtue, so who are we reciting these Bodhisattva names? Mind yourself. If you know how to protect yourself, how to love yourself, and how to protect yourself, then you are Bodhisattva worthy protector. If your thoughts and views are pure, you are Bodhisattva deft comprehension, not someone else. These Bodhisattva names are placed on oneself, and Bodhisattvas appear to express the Dharma. As I told everyone before, I give an example such as the four heavenly kings. The Bodhisattva Maitreya of the Heavenly King Palace is all ourselves, completely applied to ourselves, not the outer realm. Only then can we get real benefits. From this we can see that these 16 Bodhisattvas are no exception, and they are also our perfect virtues. 16 is not a number, 16 represents perfection. Most of our Sutra Path Sect, or Pure Land Sect, use 7 to represent consummation and 10 to represent consummation. Most of Mikio uses 16 or 21 to represent consummation. Like the 10 trillion Buddha lands mentioned in the Amitabha Sutra, this is the consummation mentioned by the Sutra. The 21 billion Buddha lands mentioned in this sutra means that 21 is expanded to 21 billion, all of which are meant to represent the Dharma. If we want to treat it as a number, then it is wrong, and you will not understand the meaning of the scriptures in it. <laughs>